such an asshole. Got the camera working, Cappy. It's a little close. It's a little up. It's a little much. I did. This just popped up. I'm like, yeah. Is that what I look like? No wonder I never got the girls and lied about it this entire time. Dear Oracle of South Dakota, note I'd like to remain anonymous. Following up an inquiry I sent you about a year ago, uh, email chain below provides background. First off, I listened to your advice, sucked it up, and stuck it on for another bonus. This has put me in a much better position financially. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am always right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very thank you. Yes, and you too, sir. Thank you. Everyone else can go fuck off. <clears throat> uh, this has put me in a much better position financially. I now have a touch over two million dollars put aside for a fully with a fully paid off house, which he later clarified the two million dollars is separate from his fully paid off house. He has a higher net worth than two million dollars. By the way, it took over two point five years to finish the house build, and there are still outstanding items that I need to just finish fix myself. People underestimate the cost, time, and headaches of completing construction projects post twenty twenty. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware, but that's why I was on it. I was on it until the house got hit by lightning. And then I was like, I hate life. <clears throat> oh, I hate life. Current status. To avoid crime, I moved to a much more expensive high-rise apartment, only to learn that we had three robberies and two cars stolen last year. This is an improvement from my last apartment because I don't believe anyone had been shot at this apartment complex yet. I'm super tired of living in a large city. I'm equally tired of seeing rainbow flags, Democrat propaganda, and homeless people. Finally, I've hit FI, financial independence with enough cushion to more than adequately meet my needs. My house in a state that is uh, very red, uh, my house build is finished, barring some projects I need to just finish myself. My company has been losing employees like crazy due to the mandatory requirement to be downtown where all the action is. Five days a week, people are taking pay cuts to not have to commute five days a week to a downtown office. Last week, my company gave me the following golden handcuffs, a significant raise, a significant bonus, and a significant amount in stock that would vest next year. I've been underpaid for the last seven years, and this basically gets me to market rate for the job I've already been doing for the past seven years. If I stay another year, I could probably put aside another 300000 I know that once I punch out... I'm done with ever making this kind of money again, but I honestly think I have enough put aside to live a quiet, peaceful life in an area where I actually want to live. <clears throat> um, and I did the math, and yeah, you got, you say, I think, I believe it was $60,000 a year and you needed to live, which is a bit much, especially if you have your house paid off. Um, but even then, and with, this is assuming no capital gains whatsoever and no dividend income whatsoever. You, you got about 36 years of just simple, Zero capital growth, zero dividend income. So, you know, things can happen. Like the Japanese stock market, I still think the Nikkei still hasn't reached its return to its 1989 peak or 1990 peak. I'd have to look up the data. Uh, so, I mean, it can happen, but it's very, very statistically unlikely you're going to outlive your money. You, I could tell you right now <clears throat> by... Uh, most traditional measures, you got enough that if you wanted to retire, you could. Um, and I think you believe you even have some that aren't in retirement funds, so you could withdraw on those penalty free. Uh, question My current inquiry is coming from more of an experienced philosophical point of view. I don't know anyone directly who has punched out of corporate life in their early 40s. What the hell about me? I punched out at 36, 37. I know your experience is close to the lifestyle that I'm trying to achieve. Well, I didn't have no $2 million, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Which is why I'm reaching out. You want to trade places? I'll, I'll get here. You can take over this fine thing. I'll be gone. You put $2 million in my pocket, I'm gone. That offer, that, that offer stands for you, Democrat. Democrat Party, you want to pay me off just to shut me up and have me retire? I'm gone. <clears throat> question my current blah, blah, blah. Um, am I crazy to leave this type of money behind in my early 40s in pursuit of a lifestyle that aligns with my personality interests and goals I can't stand cities crowds and democrats I've had a belly full I love to hike fish and hunt and you're in the state for that I'd honestly rather work with my hands than sit at a computer all day on the 20th floor of a sterile downtown office let me know what you think 
And then I said, I asked the guys, I says to the guy, so you have two million and a house paid off, house paid off. Uh, is the money invested diversified portfolio? What are your annual living expenses, expenses you expect in that uh, new state you're going? How long did you live or your grandparents live? Uh, he says to me, uh, house is net. It's paid off fully. <clears throat> you have a lot of cash. That, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of cash, man. I, you got silver and precious metals. You might ought to think about buying some precious metals. Maybe even a little crypto. I guess it's pricey now. I'm, I'm just saying it, you have a diversified 401k. <clears throat> Wait. What? Oh, total market in I thought money market index fund. Okay, you got you got uh, a million in 401k market index fund. Okay, go all right, that's diversified. Uh and then out of retirement you got another million in 250 cash. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. you got a car paid off. 5% yeah, if, if your cash isn't. Yeah, even even if you made money market, uh, I spend less than sixty thousand a year now with the high rent I pay each month. So I assume the very low. Yeah, well, I mean, hang on, let me just do some real quick math. <clears throat> Let's call it sixty thousand or thirty thousand. I'm not kidding. I mean, what? Um, you got two million two hundred fifty thousand. One two three. One two three four five. Whoa! One two three four five. Whoa! Uh, thirty thousand. Yeah, you you got enough for seventy. Yeah, you okay. So mathematically, you got enough. You know, barring economic collapse and all that. Again, crypto and so you got a little bit of extra money. Maybe you might want to top off the gallon with that, just in case. Um, where is your grandparents living? <clears throat> if I make it past eighty, I'll be doing well. Okay, so you don't expect to make it past eighty. So you got thirty. Yeah, you got enough. I mean. You, Again, barring crisis, you got enough. You could quit today if you'd like. Um, and so you, you have. I, I can't think of another client that had a that has a bigger green light to quit tomorrow if you want. Now that being said, hear me out on this. All right, it sounds like you're a lot like me. You're just a lot wealthier. <clears throat> you, you did without. You sacrificed. And you worked very hard, and you saved all your money. I don't think you've had a lot of fun. If you can stomach it for another month, okay, that's that's a lot of money for another month. It, it, sure, I'll add an added bit of extra security, which you really don't need. But why not take that 300 thought? Okay, it'd be gross, but let's say 160, 170 net. And then... You go have that's like kind of your fun money. Like you get the classic car you always wanted that you go to keep until you're dead. Okay. Uh, and anyone, I know, I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's cars that cost 170,000, but I'm sure you can find a very nice car, classic car, one you always wanted. And then you have that car. Uh, maybe a little bit of money for solar panels, maybe a little bit of money for precious metals and crypto. The state you're moving, you probably got to buy eight or nine guns. It <clears throat> and here's another thing. Are you ready to go right now? I mean, I guess mentally you're ready to go, but have you have you set up moving? Have you packed? Uh have you gotten all the fun in the big city living? I I'm sure you probably already have. Have you hung out with the friends you want to hang out with? Uh, because that's a lot of money. And I I'll leave it up to you. But without if you stick around for another year. Is a is a classic car going to bring you happiness and joy? Well, it's not going to make you sad. Um, the crypto and precious metals that'd be an added security. I just I just think for an extra year you could get. You're not the type to buy a boat, but solar panels, a well. Assuming your property doesn't have one, but it, it might. <clears throat> Go have a little travel money. Just, just a little bit like of, of a, a happy, frivolous, pissing away money, sort of not really when you factor in the precious metals and some crypto. Why not? Just a little bit. Because it's going to be at least three months before you move, right? Well, now you're already three months in. It's only another nine months, 
just stick around for the year. If it was me, that's what I would do. Unless it's so... And you know what? You could walk away anytime. Collect your salary. Maybe you have to forfeit uh, whatever your stock investment or stock options. <clears throat> uh, just make your money. It, it's all extra gravy here. Think of some a few handful of nice things you want to buy. You wouldn't be ready to go in three months anyway. You might as well finish off the nine. It'll go by fast. You've been doing this year in whatever, mid-lower 40s. And then, then get out of there. And if it's a new house or one that you built, you know, it wouldn't hurt, as you know, uh, to have a little bit of a, a fund to back up to kind of uh, make added repairs to the house or in case, you know, there's some foundational issues, heaven forbid. I just think while it's raining, while the juice is practically flowing out of the fruit that you picked, you don't even have to squeeze it. I would, I would bank that little bit of extra cash and do it. But do you need to? Absolutely not. You got plenty, man. You got plenty. If you don't care about, oh, you always wanted this particular baseball card. You know, like I bought my, my wheat penny. Everyone made fun of me, but I got my wheat penny and fuck you. Um, <clears throat> don't buy a boat. Whatever you do, don't buy a boat. I don't care how much you like boats. Please don't buy a boat. Uh, here's another thing that you probably hadn't thought of. You, you're not living, your house is dumb, but you haven't lived in there and you're moving from an apartment to a house. I had to do that. You're going to have to furnish it. Be nice to have a little bit of a money to budget to furnish. I mean, if, if anything, work a month or two to make the extra money to furnish the darn house and walmart.com is your friend. You don't need a lot of, you don't, you don't have to go to the actual furniture stores, walmart.com. I got most of my furniture there. Um, <clears throat> things like art, you, you know, like, oh, a, a, a painting or a, a framing, even I did all my own framing, but you, you think, okay, well, paint, paintings are cheap. A, a poster that's framed correctly is, is cheap. It's only 50 bucks a shot. Yeah. Well, what if you need 12 of them? You know, I just, just stick around a little bit, make a little bit more money. Pack up, get everything squared away. That's at least gonna at least gonna take you two months. See where you are. See if you can handle it. Make a decision then. But yeah, you could go right now. But yeah, it's a lot of money, and that extra money could go to a lot of things that you don't really have in your portfolio, including some fun stuff as well. I I'd get it honestly. <clears throat> nothing wrong with your car. Nothing wrong. Well, you got a truck. Good man. Um, nothing wrong with that. You absolutely need another car. Just a shit grocery getter. Okay, you should you should always have two cars. One that you don't have to do liability insurance. Uh, you only need liability insurance. You don't need collision or comprehensive coverage because if someone crashes into it, you're not going to care. You should probably have yourself another car. Um, <clears throat> but if you're going to have that, yeah, your current vehicle will work for the state you're going to. Your if you got yourself a uh, uh, classic car, it wouldn't. Um, that wouldn't work. I also don't know how many car garage you got. I'm going to assume two, but, um, yeah, no, I, I, I think you're free to go. You're absolutely free to go. All right. Link below relate now, ladies, boys and gentlemen, do you know how this young 40 something year old was able to essentially, uh, accumulate? this is why, this is why I know, this is why I know he hasn't had a lot of fun things in life because he was a minimalist. He's got a used truck. It's all paid off. He doesn't have any other debts and all that. He lives in a one-bedroom apartment. <clears throat> I know it. You know, and if you would like to get to the point where you could retire in your 40, if you stop spending your money, the minimalism course is open. It's available. I have it linked below, Achieving Minimalism Theory and Practice. If you can't find the link below, it's open at Teachable. You can just search Achieving Minimalism Theory and Practice Teachable. Or you can search The Clary School of Economic Philosophy. And then you'll find it there on Teachable. There's also Achieving Financial Excellence. Um, because you are a minimalist, you, there's no way you would have saved up that money if you were pissing away your money. There's no way you would have saved that up if you weren't a minimalist. So, But there's ironically, you don't know the purpose of money. You're like, ah, it's a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, it is. But if you're going to make that money, here's the things that you go to for further insurance, for further um, you know, practical things. I'll let you have a, a, a fancy sports car or a classic car. <clears throat> but
But the, the what concerned me, at least at the initial reading of this, I was like, don't you know what the purpose of money is? If you don't know what the purpose of money is, please go take the sister companion course to the minimalism course called Achieving Financial Excellence. If you have to choose between the two, take the Achieving Financial Excellence course, not only because it's shorter and cheaper, but because it covers some of the same grounds to get a discount on the minimalism course. And the minimalism course is very expensive. Why is the minimalism course very expensive? Because you fucking are addicted to spending. Because you have debt and you're poor. Your life sucks, but you have nothing else but consumption and materialism and shoes you're miserable fuckwit. That's why it's so expensive. Then nobody takes anything seriously unless you are paying a physical, mental, or financial price. Of all the above, there must be pain. There must be pain. And since I can't kick you in the nuts uh, because I don't know where you live, and also uh, it would be illegal, I can charge an egregious amount of money, and then you might take the fucking class seriously. Whoa, wow, now I'm out of Zoom. Whoa, whoa, come on. Come on, auto Gee whiz. <clears throat> the greatest webcam since forever. So that's linked below. And then for those of you who are more of the reading type, please go get Bachelor Pad Economics. That's linked down below. The Financial Advice Bible for Men, answering all the major and minor financial questions you will have from the age of 14 to death. 500 pages almost of that stuff. All right, <clears throat> let's go to the Super Chats. Nonstop trade, two bucks. What's Western women's favorite candy? Antidepressants. <laughs> Good. That's it. See, that's clean. We can use that one, Dre. There's no death involved or subtle hints of racism. We can use that one, Dre. That's it. Oh, Sam Whiskey, most American name in America, 20 generous dollars. Hey, Cappy, since you got sanctioned in the Philippines, I didn't get sanctioned in the Philippines. I just, it's, it, I, I figured, like, nope, this is not it. This should cover your next pork sandwich in 45 minutes. The Well, the pork sandwich, I will say this, um, as long as you're not in the Western Hotel mall area of the Philippines, the food is cheaper. It's significantly cheaper. And and the food I had was very good. I like the Philippine food. It was good. It just expected to take a long time. Just expected to take a long time. And that's another reason. There are many reasons. I was like 15 minutes into this this coffee date, and there were many reasons why I'm like, yeah, this ain't going to work. There's no reason to go on a cruise date, you know, cruise ship date with this girl for a week. Nonstop trade to book society. He needs to get married and pay women's debt. He really does. He really, hey, sir, client, sir, have you thought about marrying a single mom? And help, they, you need to be the man who stepped up, not the man who stepped out. You need to become a stepdad for children that aren't yours. I guarantee, Dre, speaking of minimalism, I guarantee, he didn't mention women. He didn't mention, oh, my girlfriend or my wife or my children. Gee, I wonder, the guy has 2.2, 2.5 technically million dollars. He has 2.5 million dollars saved up. No, 2.8 in net worth. <clears throat> he has multiple millions saved up. And can you believe it? He was never married and didn't have kids. Can you believe, can you imagine that? What are the chances? Nonstop, Dre. Oh, I'm sorry. We already did that one. Wisdom Vision Productions in the house. Five bucks, Normie. God, you're so boring. Why don't you live a little? Also, Normie, you think you're better than us? Gosh, we can't all be like you. You got it. I remember. I Good friend of mine, too. I remember I was at Filios. It was this great restaurant in Uptown in Minneapolis. They shut it down because it was a good thing. And Minneapolitans are stupid, dumb motherfuckers. He shut down his most profitable restaurant. It was a wonderful, great food, great food. And there was like, um, I don't know, some kind of event going on. We were just buddies hanging out. And I remember I was creating my PowerPoints to my classes, the online finance classes I did decades ago. And I got off. Like, dude, Clary, why do you have to bring the laptop all the time? And and now they now admittedly, this guy in particular, he 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 never gave me that much shit. He's just like, hey, why don't you chill out? But he's like, dude, you know, you really did good, you really did good. But everyone's like, whoa, chill out, relax, for like, pretty much the rest of them. Jeez, Clary, don't know how you do it. 
I'm like, geez, do you remember when I brought my laptop to the bar? <clears throat> there was a, a brief time, brief time where I was writing books, working security, and uh, and doing the online classes and dealing with rental property. And the GF did the you work too much. And I there was a conversation that was made very clear that there is no dial. It is an is a switch. There's on or off. And the goal is to get free as quickly as possible and working 40, 45 hours a week is not going to do it. <clears throat> that was an issue with, God, probably every girl I dated. Because now that I think about it, the girlfriends I did have, one one was crying because I didn't, it was a different issue. But no, it wasn't a different issue. It was a different issue. The story's too long. And then the other one, <laughs> Let's. No one understood or got on board with what this guy achieved. This guy achieved years before I did. <clears throat> there is a finite amount of work to do, and the sooner it gets done, the sooner I can retire permanently and go have fun. Now you can either be on board with this, or you can go the fuck away. And after I explained. There's a fine, everyone has a different approach. Like I decided to get my college degree done quickly. I like to get books done quickly because then guess what? Then that's where I can go and hike and fuck around. Go look at my Instagram. I posted another picture of me hiking today, two days in a row hiking. How do you do it? Well, you don't see all the fucking work I did up front. <clears throat> you don't see the late hours. You don't see full-time work, full-time school. And this guy did something similar. But you sure the fuck see it when all of a sudden you save that money and it grows exponentially and then you're retired at 43. But you're darn right, Vizda. God, you're boring. Why don't you live a little and then you think you're better than us? Gosh, we can't all be like you. It's like, no, you choose. You, cho you choose to just... Some people make accelerated mortgage payments on their mortgage. You get mortgage-free decades earlier. Others of you wait the full 30 years to pay it up. Maybe you refinance a little bit. You just spread it out. You do your 32, 33 hours of work per week. <clears throat> when you factor in the fucking around, nonstop trade two bucks. For your information, there's a abortion pills for women now. Is it? Well, yeah, it's called the morning after pill, isn't it? It's been around for years. Where have you been, Dre? Uh, Wisdom Vision Production is two bucks again. Western women's favorite sport, victim. <laughs> I can't say as a group you're not wrong, uh, but that that's pretty much every American though now, isn't it? Was the oh, I'm this skin color, I'm this race, I'm this this gender, and I'm, but, but not what, women, just any any sex, any gender, any gay, straight, Hispanic, and not Hispanic. Um, it's so sad. All all the professional victims just glom on to every trait. And then I confused the traits. Gay, straight, bi, trans, the, the whole potpourri. Um, just anything to avoid a job, huh? Right? Am I right, everyone? Everyone, right? Oh, I was born this way. I can't possibly work. And if you disagree with me, you hate my people. I need drugs. Give it to me. See? As I said, I pointed out before, even the white guys can get on the action. Oh my gosh, I have a tuster the tism. I'm disabled. Give me the money. And if you don't, you hate disabled people. Fucking sick of this shit. <clears throat> I don't think women have my short, short version. I don't believe Western women have a monopoly on the victim Olympics. I think I think we all compete in our own very special little ways. Hand clogs, two bucks. Freedom, liberty, managed democ dome. Dome Cray. Doma Cray. Manage democracy. Who said manage democracy? I've seen that phrase before. Manage democracy. Oh, they all love giving up freedom for security. My truth, the king. Two books. We need to close the gender pay gap. No, we don't. Well, <clears throat> it's up to women. Women don't have, you don't have to. There's nothing wrong with making less than other people if you're working less and working in fields that pay less because they're not as valuable. That's the main reason for the pay gap. Go look it up. It's not my opinion. <clears throat> and it's not men's responsibility to close the pay gap. It's ladies' responsibility to major in engineering and accounting and work the same. Women major in lower paying fields and they work less. I I believe when we were uh, working on Myron's book, I think it's like 200 to 300 hours per year less than the average man. There you go. 
you can close the wage gap. And, and some girls are actually, because when you look at women, that they're a lot less are going into having families and uh, <clears throat> children and getting married. And they end up becoming career women. And they're starting to some places like Google and all that. They are closing the wage gap. Sometimes they make a little bit more. Don't I, I, yes, there is a pay gap. It's not men's fault. It's women's fault. Work harder, work more. End of discussion. And if you don't like it, well, then you don't want to close the wage gap. And no, you're not being discriminated against. You absolutely are not. You, you, you have it. You have so many legs up, so many legs up. You still can't close it with, with affirmative action hiring and quotas and everybody lining up to fillet you. It is not men's fault. It is not men's fault. Adam Schmidt, five bucks. <clears throat> no, he meant a real abortion in a pill. Speaking of degeneracy, we need to boycott Doritos like Bud Light. What did Doritos do? Let's look up Doritos. I, I, I'm always curious. Like, don't companies get it? Don't they learn? Doritos woke. What happened now? Doritos files trans activists after being alerted. Too sick. What? Uh, Doritos fires trans activists two days after bringing her in as brand ambassador. Hang on. It's all popping up. Block. Close. This is the Daily Mail, so keep that in mind. Fires trans activists two days after bringing her in as brand ambassador of being alerted to sick tweets about doing depraved things to a 12-year-old. <clears throat> Transgender activist Samantha Hudson, 24, appeared in a new partnership, Doritos through Spain. Oh, this is Spain. Spain's all fucked up. Crunch Talks uh, has now been deleted from brands Instagram. Massive backlash social media. Grabs previous comments. Born identified herself as an anti-capitalist and Marxist in interviews. Can be a video. Good Lord. You know, at least the Mulvaney guy, he put in the effort. This is this. Oh, God. <laughs> Destroy and annihilate traditional monogamous nuclear family as a teen. She also, he, it's a he, okay? No, this this is the, he put no effort into, I'll give, I'll give Mulvaney, I'll, you know what? Or Blair White, okay, you, you put the effort in. I can, my mind says girl. This is a guy with some busted up teeth. As a teen, <clears throat> also tweeted about wanting to do depraved things to a minor. <laughs> God. Uh, the new re MAGA is now losing its minds over a Doritos boycott. It's not the far right. It's it's normal people who are sick and tired of mentally ill people and Marx. Marx has said the thing. Fine, trans. I, frankly, I don't care. I've actually had two trans clients uh, who are authentic, not attention seeking whores. Um, it's the Marxist anti capitalist. That's the this this. There is some worse than a Nazi. It's called communist. They've killed more. They kill more in peacetime than in their best times at war. Uh, and yeah, like what the New Republic, which I don't even know what it is. It's far right to be against pedophilia. Uh, da, 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 I, I look. Hit, let me ask you something. When's the last time you guys ate Doritos? All right, I believe my team were reasonably healthy. Like all this, like, oh no, like Bud Light. Who the fuck drinks Bud Light? Doritos. I don't eat the last time I had Doritos, it was probably the 90s. I mean, so for those of you, you know, here's here's what I want you to boycott. Here's some that you guys might actually be using, and you would fight socialists who hate you. Okay. You will fight socialists who want to enslave you and tax you and just, and just hate you. <clears throat> boycott anything Procter and Gamble. Two main ones being Gillette and Old Spice. You remember the best men can be, oh, everything is men's fault. Men are bad. Go watch the Gillette commercial. Stop buying Gillette and stop buying Old Spice. I did. I looked through all the products that Procter & Gamble has. I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, Old Spice. I, I said before, the Clarys were an Old Spice family. Not anymore, we ain't. Uh, Dre again. Uh, but Cappy, what the weight and attraction gap for women? What about the weight and attraction gap for women? <clears throat> oh, you mean how women don't find men attractive? Yeah, see, but but I'm not I'm not 
The solution is not to get revenge and go do the horrific, idiotic, stupid things they did. It's it's to stop being facetious and playing victims and going out. It's to address and live in reality. Women don't like men that much. <clears throat> That's biological. It's not a choice. I honestly think so. I don't think they like men that much. You know, the was it eight percent of men they find unattractive. We're not going. There is no revenge. There is no go back and get them. It's like, no, women just aren't attracted to men. That's a fact. Oh, well, what are we going to do? Force them to like us? No, our lives are too short, too precious to deal with that. I don't want to force anyone to do anything. Hey, do you want to hang? You don't? Okay, fine. Garrett Howard, two, buck, two bucks. What's Cappy's favorite gym exercise besides? Besides what? Uh, favorite. My favorite one is probably just pull-ups um, because I can feel it. Uh, the one I feel the most, though, I just hold dumbbells out straight in front of me, and then they it's to get deltoids to pop. So I do deltoid exercises, and then I bring them up, and then just my hands slowly go down because I can't keep the – can't keep the camera focused. And then the weight just slowly. Then what I do is I turn my fist inward, my thumbs down, and bring it back out. And it hurts like hell. And then I flatten them out again and bring them together. And then they, they collapse. That one I don't like. That's the one I feel the most like puking. But you feel that most in the burn. <clears throat> Thomas Crown, two bucks. Cappy, during your days working security, how many female security guards did you see? And work with, I assume, not many. Oh, well, they were in the minority, but they were there. There were certainly a fair amount of them, and they were good. They were good. Uh, it's in part why I'm not necessarily against women in the military, maybe against them serving in combat or certain specialty roles. But no, they they uh, they did their job. I, I I there were some great gals there. I remember one was a lesbian, and we'd scope out the freshman chicks when they'd walk in. And she, she, she questioned my, her, her tastes were off too. She's like, what about that one? I'm like, what are you, you get any? He's like, oh, you just like the pretty white girls. I'm like, yeah, I like the pretty white girls. You know, she's like, no, she's too girly. I'm like, well, what about that one? No, nah, nah, she's too sweet. But then, then, then they would come up this tatted up piece of, you know, roadkill that a truck ran over and happened to be walking. He's like, there, that's my stuff. Like this tatted up piece of walking roadkill. That's what you want. <clears throat> we never had to worry about chasing after the same girl, let's just say. But yeah, I, I did. I did. There was some some great... I'm trying to think of one that we didn't like, one that was bad. I don't think so. Then again, that security team was awesome. I don't know what the selection bias was, but man, it was a good group of people. Ukono, two bucks. Can you do a clarity test on Gonzalo Lira, a.k.a. Coach Red Pill? Yes, yeah, send me 35 bucks. Send me in the request. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Cappy's favorite exercises is dog kicking and cat hitting. Looks like a Brazil or Aztec gold figurehead hitting. <clears throat> I can't see it. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Rob says drink Bud Light. Okay, what Rob says, does he? Really? Garrett Howard, two bucks. Dre, I, that, it was the... Di Jizz dispensing shake. <laughs> oh, Dre, I thought it was the jizz dispensing shake weight. Uh, and Tom has five bucks. Having no wife and kids these days is equivalent to winning the lottery for men. It, unfortunately, you, if you find the right girl, sure. If you fall in love and it's real love, the girl loves you back and you have kids, the kids love you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's, 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 I would say, generally speaking, better than the money. Not for me. I never wanted kids. Uh, but yeah, today, I, no, I'm sorry. Go look, go look at the book of numbers, analyzing the ROI and the pursuit of women. The percentage of hap marriages that end up happy is 14%. Say, so, well, wait, if you go look at the statistics, which are kind of hard to come by, you have to, you have to kind of read into them and do some numbers. You know, you'll find that, oh, 28%. Yeah, but half ended in divorce. <clears throat> so half of the, it, never mind. It's 14%. And that's not even, that's on the very high end. That doesn't include the people who stayed married till death do in part that hated each other. So it's most likely less than 14%. <clears throat> but yes, you will save a tremendous amount of money. Posted some on Instagram. It's like a guy while dating, you know, it's $50 a meal. And then $13 a meal after you break up, you're like, yay. 
Oh, Sam Whiskey, five bucks. Thirty-one percent of OK Cupid users will not respond if you are not using an iPhone. <laughs> don't tell me I'm wrong. Not you, Sam. I don't want to hear the normies say, "Oh, you're just going too extreme." You know, like, dude, you guys haven't seen the stats I've seen. <clears throat> It's all that it this is so much like the housing bubble or the dot com bubble. I'm looking at all the data. I'm like, this is gonna crash. This is, and everyone's like, you're just a nil a, a, a nil and na, a negative nilly, a negative nanny. You just oh, you just hate girls. Like, no, I I think if you look at the data, some bad shit's about to happen. You just can't give it like, no, people keep paying me to research this. I think I'm on to something. I don't know, 31% of OK Cupid users. Won't talk to you if you're a phone. Wait. If you are not an iPhone user, if you're not an iPhone user, 31%. Okay. <clears throat> I I don't understand why you can't find a man. It really is a Scooby-Doo mystery. Adam Schmidt again for two bucks. Tom S. Thumbs up. Tom S. Having a, yeah. No, Tom's right. You, you'll save. You'll save a tremendous amount of money. A tremendous amount. $9.6 million. How'd you get to $9.6 million, Cappy? Why don't you go read the book? The Book of Numbers, Analyzing the ROI and the Pursuit of Women. You'll see where the $9.6 million rate of return comes from. All right, that's it. <clears throat> oh, no, that's not it. MVP, 10 bucks. Cappy, is the QuickBooks online certification sufficient? What about the others? Uh, QuickBooks is the most common uh, accounting software out there. Um, it should be. Chad uses some some high end CPA thing that you wouldn't need. I would get QuickBooks certified online and see where it gets you. Just just start with that. I don't think you need to learn others. Just get proficient in that, and you should be able to do some some accounting and bookkeeping, um, in the real world. And then what I would do is once you get QuickBooks certified, okay, that does bookkeeping. Then I'd start looking at things like enrolled agent or go to the H and R um, tax prep. Uh, training and then do taxes because there you're diversifying your skill set. It's um it's kind of like people who do mowing in the summer, do snow plow in the winter. You do taxes during tax season and bookkeeping the rest of the year. I would I would diversify your skills before I'd focus on learning another software. There we go. That's it. All right. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Check out the course, Achieving Minimalism Theory and Practice and Achieving Financial Excellence. Both linked below, both available on Teachable at the Clary School of Economic Philosophy. And we'll see you guys later. Toodles.